I'm Barry Wicks, Athlete Ambassador with Single Track 6. Today we're going to talk about mountain bikes. Whether you're on a $10,000 Uber Haizu carbon fiber racing machine or just a base level $500 mountain bike, if you follow these tips, make sure everything's in good shape, you're going to get through the week and have an awesome time. Some of the most common issues that we run into during these long stage races, um, first thing is flat tires. You know, everyone flats, it's the name of the game, but if you can minimize that, you're better off. Um, also, there's a lot of times you'll jar something or your cables will get contaminated, things like that. So being able to deal with shifting issues is also very important. And then the third thing is being able to change your brake pads efficiently and smoothly. When it's real wet and muddy, you can go through a whole set of brake pads in a single day. So always check your brake pads and know how to replace them if you need to. And bring lots of extras. Some key areas of the mountain bike that we like to make sure are in good shape are your drivetrain, tires, and brakes. These are the things that are the wear items on your bike and need to be in good shape in order to get through the day without having meltdowns. When I start a six day mountain bike stage race, I like to have fresh drivetrain on my bike. <clears throat> this allows me to make sure that everything's gonna work really good, um, but I don't want it to be brand new. You wanna have at least four or five rides on your fresh equipment so that way you know that there's not gonna be any problems, everything works well together and everything sort of meshes together. Another important thing that I like to do at the beginning of every day is go through my bike and check to make sure all the bolts are snug. You never know if a suspension pivot bolt's gonna loosen up or a rotor bolt or something like that. So if you develop a method to just start at the top of the bike, go through, check every single bolt for tightness, um, it's gonna eliminate a lot of headaches and also catch anything that may pop up later in the day that's, that's gonna be unforeseen. Another key element in a long six day stage race is making sure your tires are in good shape. I like to run a tire with a little bit heavier sidewall. Um, what you give up in weight, you gain a lot in durability and protection. At the end of six days, you usually get pretty tired, your fatigue level's high, and you start making a lot of mistakes and hitting stuff you normally wouldn't. So having that extra security of a protective sidewall is really key. Another key element that I like to think about when I'm maintaining my bike during a six day stage race is to wash it every single day. It's a lot of work and it's a little bit extra effort in the end of the end of the race when you're pretty tired, but it makes a huge difference in making sure everything works smoothly and is ready to go the next day. It also allows you to check for any nicks or cuts in your tires or anything that will cause a major mechanical um, that hasn't quite happened yet and you can just stay on top of it and make sure everything works again. What's really important about your bike is being really familiar with it. You want to be able to fix anything that goes wrong and also troubleshoot any issues that may arise when you're out riding.